storms developed very quickly earlier today. Take a look at some of these hail pictures you guys have been sending in. Kelly Moore took this one in Cedarburg. Showed you the Dave Williams one in Jackson. Uh, Jay Braun took this one in Cedarburg going, wow, yeah, this is April storms for you. Allenton, pictures of uh, at least quarter size hail. Girls went out and got some uh, of those hailstones after the storm, of course. And Ashley sent in this beautiful picture of the hailstones in Jackson. Yeah, I think that's a half dollar right there. So this storm intensified very quickly and then it moved out over Lake Michigan very quickly. In its wake, we're seeing a little bit of thunder moving through, uh, just moving through the Brookfield area right now, north of New Berlin. Waukesha, maybe a little drizzled there. Decent downpour in Butler around Whitefish Bay. Glendale, you're going to be seeing some of that as well. Small little hail core heading toward the Butler area. This is not a severe Warren storm right now, but again, it is intensifying. This didn't look too impressive even 20 minutes ago and really uh, is starting to intensify. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some impressive downpours, especially around Whitefish Bay, Shorewood in the next about 15 minutes or so. Severe thunderstorm warning well down to our south and to our west. These are all moving toward the lake, though, so don't be surprised to see that continue as it gets closer to our warmth that we have had throughout the day today. Severe thunderstorm watch continues until 9 p.m. this evening for most of us here in southeastern Wisconsin as this cold front will be marching on through. That's going to knock our temperatures down from a high of 78 degrees here in Milwaukee, almost 80 in Racine as well as in Kenosha. We're still at 78 in Milwaukee, but we're watching the clouds starting to push in with that cold front. So again, a chance for some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms, mainly between now and about 830 this evening. Behind it, we are all in the clear, clearing skies tonight and in tomorrow. We'll start off with some sunshine. By the end of the day, we'll be looking at some more rain showers developing, but they will not be thunderstorms, nor will they be severe mainly because temperatures are going to drop down to 62 for your high. That afternoon rain chance, that's a cold front that comes through, and that one really knocks us down into the 40s. It's going to feel chilly on Thursday with a very blustery wind. And yes, that's a chance for a bit of a wintry mix as we get into the weekend.